I've been uh, asked to tell you a little bit about downhilling, but uh, I'm supposed to be trying to find a mountain biker, and it, I just, I'm here in the Dolby Forest and I can't find anybody, so, well, wait a minute, here's, excuse me, stop, um, can you, do you know anything about downhilling? Well, I know a little bit about it. I happen to be the uh, reigning world downhill champion at the moment. Well, it's a stroke of luck, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, what's, what's your name? My name's Cindy Devine. Pleased to meet you. Nice and to meet can you. you tell us a, a little bit about how you got into downhilling? Uh, yeah, it was uh, 1987. I'd come from a strictly road touring background, and my boyfriend introduced me to a mountain bike that summer, and I started racing regionally, and actually was a very poor downhiller initially. So you've, you've, you've fallen off a few times on the way? Yeah, the first summer I had uh, 12 stitches in one knee and eight in an elbow, and they were just simple, simple miscalculations that now with uh, present uh, videoing and help, I think we can avoid those kind of errors. Fantastic. So what, what kind of machinery do you use for this? This is basically my all-round bike, but it's, it's good for downhills as well as cross-countries. And the biggest change with downhilling now, of course, is suspension. These are the new lighter version of the Rock Shocks with a, a dampening meter on the top, so you can dial in the amount of dampening you need for different types of terrain. Titanium, of course, is an awesome forgiving metal in general for a frame and I have the, fo the uh, bars and the stem as well, so you've got a really forgiving front end. Super.